had a wife. So this wife bore two sons, and when his wife's sons grew up, they drove Jephthah out and said to him, Can we read the scriptures? Tell somebody, read the word of God loudly. Learn how to read the word of God loudly. Hallelujah. You shall have no inheritance in our father's house. They are forgetting. Hallelujah. Now, you shall have no. Now, they are forgetting. They are chasing away a, a man, Jephida, and they are sharing a father. Tell your neighbor they are sharing a father. <laughs> uh, you, you shall, let's read again. You shall have no inheritance in our father's house, for you are Hydra Frank and, uh, and uh, Derek stabilized the system for me. I've been noting from the time we began, there is no coordination. There is a lot of shh in between. You can even hear the echo from the microphone. Check the monitors, stabilize the system so that we can minister to the international church. Also, we are ministering to the international church. So can we read that statement again? You shall have no inheritance. Now ask your neighbor, from when did the sons begin giving other sons inheritance? Eh? Yani kutoka lini dugu yangu akakuwa ndiye atanipea ulithi wa baba from when tumuliza jirani yako from when hey, hey you shall have no see i'm telling you surprise is the frank i say so this is not my department You shall have no inheritance in our father's house, for you are <laughs> the son of another woman. Verse 3. The Bible says, oh, there's no verse 3. Can we go to our Bibles now? Uh, now uh, our, 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 our media fraternity is uh, now busy <laughs> checking on the systems. Can we go to our Bibles? We can go to our Bibles, go to the book of Judges, just behind the kings there. The judges were before, they are there, even before Samuel, the judges were there. So we go to judges. Take your Bible and go to judges. So we go to verse 2 of that, verse 3. We are in verse 3. Judges chapter 11 and verse 3. So we can read together. The Bible says, Then Jephthah fled from his brothers and dwelt in the land of Tob, and worthless men banded together. Tell your neighbor what they are men. They did not look like. They did not come with Mercedes Benz. They did not have houses. Maybe even they were, they were sharing. Ugali, Ugali Madodo. Hallelujah. They looked like worthless people. Uh, you know, they did not have nice suits. Hallelujah. So the, the Bible is even calling them. Yes, number three. We can now read. Uh, we are back. We can now enjoy this comfort from Frank. Hallelujah. And worthless men banded together with the Jephida. And went out raiding with him. Verse 4. Tell your neighbor they were worthless, but they had muscles for war. Hallelujah. They, they seemed worthless, amen, in the eyes of people, but God had, had given them the muscles of war. The Bible says it came to pass after time that the people of Ammon made war against death, against Israel. Tell your neighbor, Kutokareo Mungu anakoroga, Mungu anakoroga for our sake. So you might be a jirani yako, we are preaching together all of us here. Kutokareo Mungu atakoroga mataifa for the sake of this commission. Hallelujah. Mungu atakoroga majirani. Hallelujah. For the sake of your man, I'm prophesying. Mungu atakoroga bosses for the sake of your promotion. Hallelujah. Mungu atakoroga your uncle for the sake of your inheritance. Hallelujah. January 2022. 
utaiona kimacho macho siku ni moyo moyo kimacho macho hallelujah hatungojai tena this is our time hallelujah when the people of ammon made war against israel now any time you see israel in the bible you put church there in any time you see israel in the bible you put church because now we are the choice of god we are the, the bible says we are the chosen generation hallelujah we are the nation of god amen so any time you see the bible israel because these were the chosen people of god you put church there that the elders of Gilead kumeumana sasa hallelujah he was chased away by brothers but now it is going a higher level the boss sat for your promotion but i'm telling you now god is taking another level hallelujah went to to, to get jephthah from the land of top hallelujah can we go down hey, hey. then they said to jephthah who elders come and be our commander tell your neighbor my praise is still intact hallelujah my your strength are still intact the devil may have tried to joke around with your life but this time around there is a remembrance for recovery hallelujah there is a season of remembrance of our restoration my god he tried to mess up with our lives here and there my jehovah maybe you are looking at your life and you can see you can you can see a scar i came to encourage us today a scar is just to show you where you are coming from but where you are coming from is not where you are going to hallelujah the lord is doing a new thing so come and be our commander hey that we may fight kube you cannot do without me that we may fight against the people of ammon muli nitfukuza nisi inherit ulidi wa baba yako shamba ika moja hii atika kashamba ya mchere ama ya madizi that is what tunapigania let me show you what god does tell your neighbor see what god does to mwambie jirani usini dharao how you am still a work in progress hallelujah walifikiri wametangulia lakini ambie jirani yako we are coming hallelujah we are on the move hallelujah so jeffy the said to the elders this time around i cannot about your intimidations you are going to fit into my desires hey did you not hate me and expel me from my father's house kimbiani haraka mchungaji kimbia haraka that is a woman of god you can give her the right seat why have you come to me now when you are in distress tell your neighbor there are people god will distress for your sake hallelujah there are some animals who will not sleep they will, they will face this distress for the sake of the of the of the destinies of the children of god i'm telling you there are some financiers of this ministry who will not have peace until they bring our money that one you interpret for yourself <laughs> and the elders sorry and the elders of gira i'm saying nasa imekuwa ni ya mungu sasa si vita yetu sasa tumepigana na watu for a long time we are praying for promotion they they only want to promote the women who are sleeping with the bosses they don't want to promote the children of god now i'm telling you the truth this time around it is our god at work and the elders of gira say to jeffy that that is why we have turned again tell your neighbor hey ya hey. they are turning to us again hey they turned against us but this particular moment people are turned people are going to turn to us they will seek for counsel they will seek for help they thought the prayers you have been praying are useless now things are about to happen until they look for your prayers hallelujah they will turn to us again not again as this time because let me tell you the truth we have been working in progress we have been working in progress abi jira yako tumeiva that <laughs> that you may go with us and you fight against the people not we fight you fight against the people uh, even the others were running away so now they know there is only one person wired for our victory and be our head over all the inhabitants of Gilead verse 9 the bible says so jephida tell you neighbor jijaza sasa hallelujah so you are nico said ham hiyo shamba si yenu jijaza sasa the mungu atawaonga and you they look for your god so wakikuja kwako watabao and they fit into what we want and that is why i'm saying to the church of this nation we are in charge of politics in the nation of kenya we are in charge of this nation the destiny of the nation of kenya is in our hands 
So when somebody shout or they say they from the comfort of your bedroom, unasema I am in charge of the nation. Hallelujah. So David said to the elders of Gilead, if you take me back home to fight against the people of Ammon and the, and the Lord delivers them to me, shall I be your head? Hey, yeah. And the elders of Gilead, woo, say to Jephthah, the Lord will be, tell me, but this is now God's affair. From now, 16th day, from 16th day of January 2022, your life is God's affair. The Lord will be a witness between us if we do not, we do, not do according to your words. No, they are fitting in. Verse 11, the Bible says, Then Jephthah went with the elders of Gilead and the people. So the elders are taking him even before the brothers and the father, the, the brothers who chased him away. So now Jephthah is going back in the same land where his own brothers chased him away. Now it has become, it is not now a family matter. It is a national matter. When Jephthah went with the elders of Gilead and the people made him head and commander over them, including the brothers and the, the father, and Jephthah spoke his words before the Lord in Mizipah. You can go down and Jephthah sent messages to the king. You can go down and see the victory. Now, this is what the Lord has sent me with. Now, give me the word of God in the book of Amos chapter 3. Amos chapter 3. I said I have a remote word for us. Give me verse 12. Me, I love God. Woo! Tu mambi ejilan tu mewangu la kina tu jangu kabado tu kohai tu ko. Wadi kuwanga na ugonjwa kakuwanga na nini? You know, as we were praying today, the spirit of God was reminding me something that happened when I was in uniform too, many years ago. I was in uniform too. You know, sometimes we want to assume things are not there. Things happen. Uh, sometimes I give you my own personal testimony. I was a very bright girl, a very, very bright girl. And I used to perform very well. Now, during visiting day, my aunt, sister to my father, accompanied my mother when I was in uniform too. And this aunt of mine came with some things to visit me because it was a visiting. For those who are coming from down there, you know, now, we used, to, you know, we used to be locked up. It is not like the way nowadays schools have freedom. You know the way we used to be locked up. Anytime you used to see a visitor, you could be very excited that somebody has come to see you and has brought you something. And you know, we never used to have the hot pots. My mother used to bring food, nakasuku. You know, some of you even don't know what kasuku is. Hallelujah. So that, this particular moment, and this book God has just reminded me, I was a very bright girl. I couldn't understand, and I was among the first, if not number one, number two. Let me tell you the truth. My aunt brought me a soda and a loaf of bread. A soda and a loaf of bread. And let me tell you the truth. That was the beginning of my mind not understanding things in class. I struggled. I struggled. I could become number one or number two. I'm making it public. I know my cousins and my people watch. I'm not intimidated. I have already told you God has given you a prophet in your family, but you don't want to hear the voice. I'm now shouting from the city of Nairobi. Now listen. This aunt of mine, she's dead. She brought me this, and I ate, and I struggled from that time. I, I, the teacher could be in the class, but I'm not understanding. I fasted. I thank God for the love of God in my life. I fasted my life out. I prayed. Now, I did not know that my aunt was practicing witchcraft. Until one time, he, she sent our own cousin, who also died because of touching her family she, he was not supposed to touch. He, she sent one of our cousins, to, who is named like my brother, to come home and bring some, some, some hair. Woo! My Jehovah. And this boy was sent with some hair. I did not know these things are there. He, he, she, he came with some hair and he had been told to, 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 to put up some, that, 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 that bundle of hair in a certain place at our home. Now when this boy came, he could not maneuver his way because my mother used to pray and so he was confused in the atmosphere and he spewed the peace. He called my brother and told my brother, my mama 
uh, gave me this and he, she told me to do this. Now I don't know what to do. And the boy became confused. Do you know when he went back home? Because now of, uh, of exposing the secret of the mother, I don't know what the mother did. The boy just died mysteriously. It pained us because we went to the barrio. Now, listen to this. I ripped for my life. Thank God because I passed very well in Form 4. I ripped for my life. I ripped for my life. But let me tell you the truth. Because of rebelling and delivering the destiny of my family from some family members who have been all along practicing witchcraft. You remember Millicent when we went up country to bury my mother. You remember the kind of battles we had at night. Serious battles. It was a serious warfare even during the burial of my mother. Even at night, it, we really battled with my children here. The people who went with me for the burial. Now listen to this. At the end of the day, the Lord has dealt with that witchcraft. And now because it is time for our deliverance, it is now turning the, against the people who have been doing these things. I came to see on this altar, they may touch you even in the company and try to mess up with your promotion. But I came to say as a voice of God in the world, I know we are many, a time has come and it is now. Those who have been messing up with the destinies of the children of God, tables are turning against them. We are not the them. We are not praying against them, but our lives are now the matter of God. God has taken over our lives. God has taken over our marriages. God has taken over our careers. God has taken over our ministries. The witches and the wizard in Arabi. You gonna hear this today? This commission is God's matter. Hallelujah. I'm looking at things and I'm seeing God is able to avenge for his people. I came to see on this altar, vengeance day has come. So our word is, our word for today is, I'm looking at things. Another day, July, uh, not July, when my mother, after the death of my mother, God sent me to do something I had never done in my life. And even my people don't know. I have always told you this. And God is sending me to bring down some things I have never done in my life. Because people have gone to devil worship. People have literally gone to devil worship. And I'm up approaching some people. And I'm on the, on the ground. I remove my shoes. I'm dealing with the ancient foundations in my family. And I'm like, God, as long as you have your voice in this family, the next generation of my people will be witchcraft free. Hallelujah. It will be witchcraft free. And we are saying even in the church of this nation, the next generation of the church in this nation, it will be witchcraft free. We cannot have a church that is practicing witchcraft. If either somebody is in the church or in witchcraft, then we cannot have to. Hallelujah. So the word for us today is, there shall be remembrance for our restoration. From today. And I, I want to prepare you. I want to prepare each one of us. Those people who are connected to this commission. And those who are our friends. And those who are watching us online. There shall be remembrance. I'm not just exciting you. Thank God you came. I want to prepare you. Kindly do not put off your phone. From today. Mutaona mambo itawastua hawae. Mungu amekumbuka hii kazi. You those who have been with him from morning, mumeona ile mambo inafanyika hapa leo. From Pastor Godwin, then things are just happening and God is just speaking. So there shall be remembrance for a restoration and the restoration will cause recovery. Restoration will cause recovery. So let us read this word together. That says the Lord. Hallelujah. Mwambie jirani yako hata kama umezeeka Wakati uli apply promotion, ulikuwa miaka 20. Saa hii unahesabu kwa miaka 56. Kwa na asifiwe, haijarishi ata kama ni kamkono imebaki, your promotion is still intact. Hallelujah. Haijarishi how old we are. It does not matter how long we have waited. does not matter how long we have prayed. I know, my God, at times you ask God like me, Father, how long again do I have to wait? Hallelujah. The Bible is saying, that says the Lord. And the shepherd takes from the mouth of a lion. Hallelujah. Mungu wana tutua mahali hapo. Ata kama ni kama Jonah. Tulimezo tukodani ya samaki. Mahali shetani ame tuingiza. Aka ingiza majina yetu. Aka ingisha destiny za watoto wetu. Mungu sahi anafanya. Niyo paragashia ni nini? Niyo paragashia 
again. That one. He's doing an operation. He's searching out. Hallelujah. From the mouth of a lion. No, akuna mutu na isajitoa kwa lion. Ata buzi yenyewe ikishukuliwa na lion haiwezi. Two legs. Imagine migumbili. All a piece of a near. Hallelujah. That means, my brethren, it does not matter how this season has found you. Does not matter how how wrecked your destiny may look like. Does not matter how wounded your life is. Does not matter, my God, to me save one pack of wapi. Hey, hallelujah. Hey, to me gumbili. Are your neighbor to me gumbili? Ata kama ikondani ya mitomu ya siba. Si mwambie. This is the word of God. You, 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 are you seeing this word of God? Me, I'm interpreting in the Kiswahili. Two legs in the, in the mouth of a lion. Since to Migumbili, from Domo, Yasiba, Sidi Kweli. That means to Migu, I had the toa, Sidi Kweli. Eh, what you did, and you have to come on a nasso and a madden, you have to toa, one as if you were. Eh, and a piece of a near, imagine. If we didn't get a yacht, Hakuna. Eh, Nika Maskio, two, two more be a giran, Nika Maskio, two. Hallelujah. Masikio cannot do the operation of an entire body of a human being. Kwa risi kweli. Ata iwezi tembea. Masikio sinia kusikia. Masikio iwezi ona. That means my God, even if you are so incapacitated, even if you are so messed up as a son of God. Now listen to this. So shall the children of Israel. Hey. Woo. Hallelujah. We shall be taken out. Who dwell in Samaria? Listen, we are in the, in the world right now. We shall be taken out. Whenever the devil has fixed us, he has fixed our names. Where everybody mentions our name, somebody is like, this one should not be promoted here. Because the Bible has to be corruption. Now I came to say today, to naingia kwa promotion is there to buy force. Kwa sababu gani? Mungu anatutoa. Tell your neighbor, sisi ni masalia. We are remnants of God's people. Hallelujah. So Thank you, nations of the world. Allow me to throw in my kiswahili. I'm in my country. I want my people to hear the word of God. Now listen to this. It does not matter what the devil has destroyed in your life. The Bible says he comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Hallelujah. Does not matter. Many other times we we, we found ourselves off board and the. Uh, was moving on like a, like a rolling lion to devour. He devoured some of us. He devoured some of our, of our finances. He devoured the destinies of our children. He devoured so many things in our lives. But I came to say, as long as you have the mark of God as the remnant of God's people, God has commanded for our deliverance. Hallelujah. Who dwells in Samaria in the corner of a bed? In the corner of a bed and on the edge of a coach. Hallelujah. Have you, have you ever been there? On the edge of the bed. Hallelujah. So anything, if anything happens, if there is a seeker, thank you, Millicent, for encouraging. Millicent, Hallelujah. So you, some of us are there. Tell your neighbor, ask your neighbor, are you there? Unangalia tu naona haia. Anytime. I came for you today. Hallelujah. Yani niko tu hapa mbia jirani yako are you there? Yani unangalia tu hivi. Ni ii 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 mambo isipoenda benya nataka hivi anything. Tell you neighbor, come out of anything can happen on, at any time. Shuma mbia jirani yako, come out of that. You are not a son of, you, you are a, tell you neighbor, you are a son of God. Toa kwa hiyo mawazo at anything can happen at any time. If there is anything that is happening now, it is to restore you and to cause recovery in your destiny in Jesus name. Hallelujah. So what are we seeing? Jefida ametolewa kwao. Huko ni kwao. Si huko ni kwa baba yake. Kwa sababu wa coming late. Huko ni kwa baba yake. Na baba ya mtu ndio amebeba urithi wake. So the brothers are removing this boy from his he was legally a heir of his father. Whether a son is born out of wedlock or not, he is a heir of his father. As long as you know your father, you are a heir. Good enough, Jefida knew this is my father. And what do we see? The brothers those who felt, hey, we have this kind of brothers, hey, brother, like this one of Jephitha, who have this kind of mentality, who have passed you, hey, hallelujah, they are the people who qualify, tell your neighbor, my neighbor, have you encountered
and says, this kind of people who want to disqualify you, even where God has qualified you, hallelujah. I don't know whether you have come across this kind of people, hey, where God has lifted you, and I say, nani alinua who you, hallelujah. I came to say today by the masses of God, mahali mungu amesema ni bako, hakuna shetani ataingilia. Where God has the time for each one of us, sahi, wapende wasipende, tunaingia. Hallelujah. Get yourself a good neighbor who is speaking. It is good to confess the word of God. Mambiwa naona na nine eyes, lakini tuko na jicho la mungu wa binguni. Hallelujah. Kio na nine eyes, mungu wa natuonea with his might heart and with his might eye. Hallelujah. Na tuko, tu, tell your neighbor tuko sawa. So we are not fearing the witches and the wizards and the enemies. Remain on course. Remain a son of God. Hallelujah. So what do we say? Wame mtuwa kwa ulithi wake. But tell your neighbor a time comes. Hey. Hey. A time comes, my neighbor. And that time is now. Wali kusengenya, waka kupiga, my Jehovah waka kuvihaki, waka imba, barua, waka, unajua kuna mahali, barua, unapereka barua. Isiju njini hamchui? Kenya, in my nation, Kenya, let me say this in English, in my nation, Kenya, you can take a file even to court and within two days it is lost. Hallelujah. It does not matter how our destinies have been concealed by the work of the enemy. I came to say today, Jephida, you cannot stay outside your inheritance another year. You, may, you cannot look as if you don't have a father. You belong to your father. They may have chased you away, but the time has come and it is now for you to be remembered. Hallelujah. God is causing people to be remembered in the nation of Kenya. I came to say the true servant of God in Kenya and encourage yourself. There is a season of remembrance that God has brought the nation into. God is causing a remembrance. Hallelujah. They may have mocked you when you prayed and fasted. My God, you have been praying but you don't have a shoe like them. It is not about their physical appearance. It is about the ability that God has deposited in me as a son of God. Very true. Thank you for encouraging me. Hallelujah. Kuna mahali. Usiniona hivi hivi. Kuna mahali na eza omba ombi. Mapepo itaroke. Lakini we ukiambi ukiapia itakuuliza. Pita tunajua. Regina tunajua. We we ni nani. Hallelujah. Yani kuna mahali. Tell your neighbor kuna mahali pako jirani. Jiti ya muoyo. Hallelujah. And encourage yourself in the Lord. And let me tell you the truth. In some companies, the children of God have been so much intimidated. In some families, you know, the, the, the people who have God. Hawataki kutuona, but wacha ni kuambie, watatutafuta sasa. Watatutafuta. Wana sifile. Kino initiate, wana kujanga na, I don't know whether your family looks like my family. Wana kujanga na magali tupa kupa na kumbuwa kina. Wana zina chukwa hivi. Hallelujah. You did not come here to pray. Let me excuse me. Tables are turned. They will need the prayer. They will look for the prayer. Now listen, the Lord is saying to us, if you look at the story of Jephida, I'm finishing. <laughs> if you look at the story of Jephida, he did not pray. He did not fast over it. It was commanded of the Lord. As you sit in the house of God today, mahali watu wanapaswa wakorogwa for your sake, wanakorogwa tangia sai. Mahali watu wanapaswa wamushwe for our sake, na wakumbushwe majina yetu, they cannot pretend anymore. Itawawasha washa, iwakule kule, wapige simu. If they are not able to call, watakuja na migu, hallelujah, the elders of Gilead, hawakum to go and look for Javida. I came to encourage us today. My God, prepare your life. Kuna watu wanatokelezea. Watakuja wakiopa msamaha umam of God. Hallelujah. Hey, maybe this is my word. Watakuja wakiopa msamaha.
Samaha. Na abia jirani yako wacha ma attitude. Eh? Haleluya. Wacha kuangalia na machombaya. Bwana asifiwe. Kwambie welcome. Niko tu yule yule mtoto wa Mungu. Haleluya. Niko bado kwa Yesu. Haleluya. I am still alive and kicking. Hey, bado niko. Bwana asifiwe. What can I do for you? Na kama uko na uwezo kwa nyumba yako, pika chai na ma, na mayai moto. Na kachumba liroiko. Na we serve ki international. Wa bebe. Haleluya. Intercontinental. Tell you neighbor intercontinental. Serve them. Wakisha kula washibe unawauliza what can I do for you? Hallelujah. Tumekuja kuomba msamaha, baito ya baba yako tumekuletea. Hallelujah. There is nothing that is connected to your destiny ambao shetani ata celebrate kama imepotea kwa mikono yako. Are you seeing are you hearing what I'm saying? There is nothing as far as you are alive and you are hearing my voice today either online or down here. There is nothing that God ordained for your life itapotelea kwa mikono ya adui. We have entered into a season of recovery. We have entered into a season of remembrance. I came to say today as a prophet of God, God is causing your name to be remembered in places you could not have entered, in places you could not have gone. Because why? God has brought us into a season of recovery and restoration. God is commanding for our remembrance. There are people you prayed for. Na wakapasua. Hey, tell your neighbor na hata wakaendasha magali mbele yako. Ni, wana sifiwe. Wakasoma na wakapama na wandega. Yambia jidani yako hata passport sina. Hata sikai. Wana sifiwe. Wakiwa Dubai na US. Kutoka leo wa warali. Warudisha mkono. You repad. Hallelujah. God, will, God is commanding. God is commanding. Anywhere you are repad has been exalted and somebody is pretending as if they cannot remember i came to say anything that is regarding you as your inheritance anything that is called by your name ata kama ni simu ya kababe watakuletea remembrance for restoration and the restoration will usher each one of us into a season of recovery and let me surprise you as i'm hearing the spirit of god say the recovery God is bringing in our lives. My God, whatever Jephthah and the brothers were fighting for was just a father's inheritance. Baba Mumoja. The recovery and the restoration of Jephthah imekua ni taifa mzima. Now he becomes the head. Ya mashamba na kila kitu. So he can even command ile shamba ya ndugu zangu and then mununue na wapeane pesa watolewe hapo. So he takes over. That is the authority. God is, is, uh, is giving Jephthah. He becomes their leader, including their br the brothers and the father. Let me tell you the truth. And maybe this is my word. Let me tell you the truth. Mahali shetani amefinyiria mtoto wa mungu. I'm speaking to the international church. A time has come and it maybe it is beginning from whatever time. But I'm saying it as I'm hearing now. It is beginning today. The 16th day of January. Oh my God. Yani good things are going to break through from January. Tell me about what a good January. Woo! You know, even the driver who brought me a little checker. You know, I came and I'm wondering, guy, Munguangu, Yani, in January, Kuna Mbua ya Maji, Narobi. Hallelujah. Good things are happening. They are beginning to happen into our lives from the, from the month of January 2022. These Januaries are known to be very difficult months, but I came to change the story. In this month of January and from today, people will begin calling us for favors. People will begin seeking us for favors. Hallelujah. People will begin calling to be associated with us. I don't know whom I'm talking to, that, to that right now. People will begin looking for your number. My God, they cannot sleep locally and internationally. They cannot sleep. They cannot sleep until we are settled by the grace of God. They cannot have peace. Yes. Your promotion has to be enjoyed now. In the same place, in the same rad, in the same nation, Jephthah, your restoration is not outside. It's the same place where they hated you. Now you are going to lead them, including your father. Ah. So Jephthah is telling the father, catch on your baba. Hallelujah. I honor you as my father, but now I'm in charge. Hallelujah.
This is what the Lord is doing. So the word of God today for us in this commission, I don't know where, I don't know how, but what I know, the man of God has been sent to us this morning. Pastor Godwin was here very early in the morning from nowhere. He has brought a word to tell us we have entered into a season of the supernatural. So don't look at God with the, with the eye of your prayer. At in Mezoya Mungu, Nikiomba hapa Nikienda Kataroni two days, and at Manga Muzungu, watch any kuambia sahi, utaskiya kwa gate. Changing on China. God can use anything. Hallelujah. God, I'm just using a layman language. God can use anybody and anything for our sake right now. Amen. God used people called the brothers of Jephthah to remove him from his legal inheritance. God is using again people who are called elders, higher level of authority for his restoration. So everybody and anything now has to fit in into a season of restoration in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Now, as we have read, it does not matter what is left. Maybe you are looking at your account, you can see two shillings. You are looking at your marriage and you are looking at your age. Can I still can I tell, you, tell your neighbor, I'm seeing as if it, can, it, it cannot still work. Are you seeing what we are seeing or you are seeing it can still not work? At this age, ask your neighbor, what age? What age? What are you telling us about age? Hallelujah. What age? At the qualification, ask your neighbor, the God of Esther is our God. With no qualification, with nothing. He did not, she did not even have an ID to belong in that nation. But when God said, it is time. Tell your neighbor, it is time. Hey, my neighbor, it is time. Hallelujah. Usipea, usitiwe promotion. Alafu waza kuambia majirani. Unajua wananipea kazi kubwa na misi jui computer. Shauri yako, wewe. Enda uguza uguze. Usitifanya ati wasi wasi. Iguza uguze na uinene. Uambia computer, I command you in Jesus name. Lazima ni kuwa pareto. Wana sifiwe. Ambia jirani yako, jika kamue, na uingie, uingie na nguvu. Ni uingie na nguvu. Ati wasiana, uh, those people who have single mothers, ati unaurizwa na, na mutu wa kuoe, unaanza kumuambia, ati nikono watoto kumi, ata kama ukona 50. Don't begin by 50 children. Begin by saying, I am a son of God. Hallelujah. Begin by saying, I am a son of God. Hallelujah. Leave it, mother. Just leave it. Just begin by saying, I am a son of God. Hallelujah. Let us begin from there. I am a son. You are contacting a son. Hey! Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, begin there. Just like a son of God. Live like a son of God. Appear like a son of God. Live like a son of God. Atakama ukona kiatu inainama. I am a son of God. Hallelujah. It's not about the shoe. It's about the person. Hallelujah. Tell you, it's not about how you look like. It's about who is in you. And the Bible says whoever is in us is greater. You are, you are being remembered. My neighbor, you are being remembered. Hallelujah. Now, my neighbor, you are being remembered. and for a recovery. And as dad has said, you are going to see things you have never seen in this commission. What to anakuja. Ebu chukwe ni mabagi zenu, nyini mumeka huko nyuma muna tuachia spaces hapa. Ebu chukwe zenu hizi space, tuachia mungu hizo spaces hiko huko nyuma. Fill up the seats here. Tafadhali, don't leave any space here. Kaide, yes, obey, quickly. Wachia mungu wajaze huko. Wacha kutuekea manusunusu makuota kuota. Wanasifi, people are coming. People are, tell you neighbor, people are coming. In the masses, Uru Pak, here we come. We are finishing the work, Tracy, we began in Kenya. Maria Riachia to Uru Pak. We are finishing the work, Tracy, we began in Kenya. Maria Riachia to Nanda Kumarizia. Hallelujah. We are on the move because God has remembered. Hallelujah. God has remembered us. He has commanded for remembrance. And the remembrance is calling your restoration. 
Remembrance is, cover, is calling your recovery. That means, my brethren, anything we lost in our season of foolishness and the things we were doing that were out of divine order, God is now putting sense in us and commanding for a recovery. And I hear the Spirit of God say, we shall recover in masses. Tell your neighbor, I know to pay via to muse. Where we? To my beer. I'm a pilot to my via to my beer, my via to. Be. Namangua, Tauvai. El Maziaka to have a mafia Kiria for God. Hey, one you call in Kiria. I'm not just shouting, hallelujah. Decrata. One as it is. One, eh. Now, Mama, the copper is a plastic. Ati yon na pentaka kukunywa na yon. Nani alikuambi uwezi pata kikombe mzuri ya gold? Kukunywa ngi na yon. Ati niki kunywa chai na hii na kuanga mzuri. Enda utupe hiyo. You can use the gold cups and the gold plates. Decrata. Decrata from your mind and decrata the space. Clear the space because God has commanded for a remembrance. Hallelujah. Let me surprise. You'll be so surprised. I'm waiting for these testimonies. So God is causing that in our midst. That, that was our word and the seal of our word. God is causing that in our midst right now. Everybody who has labored with me, everybody who has waited on God in a city, we have not compromised. We have waited on God. It has not been easy. Lakini mukono wa mungu umetumbeba. Watoto wangu mungu alinituma ni kawatie moyo. Majira ya kukumbukwa ya meanzia leo. Muta kumbukwa kwa ndoa zenu. Kwa finance zenu. Kwa watoto wenu. Kwa mifuko na, kwa mifuko na kuku. Hallelujah. Anything as far as this commission is concerned. Mahali popote huko. Kwa ofisi. Kila mahali. Kutoka kesho. You will celebrate remembrance. In Jesus name. Hallelujah. Now anywhere issues and people have wrongly taken us and taken our names. You know, nikuwa nasema, daktari kitombe you came. Nikuwa nasema, venye files Kenya zinapoteanga mosmos. Unaacha file hapa. Na iko hata kwa desk. Kesho ukienda. Inatafutua iyo rumu yote haipatikani. Wacha ni kuambie. Zetu hawafichi. Ah, I'm speaking to you. Fala za nduwa zetu hampereki kwa kuzimu na kwa mashetani. Zito wachoma huko. Majina yetu ito wachoma huko. Anywhere in our names have been taken. God is doing an operation for our sake. Our names can only appear in the Lamb's book of life. Nowhere else. Anywhere else is standing on a jalibu kuchaza chazo na majina ya watoto wetu na sisi, itawakula. Hallelujah. Anywhere we have been wrongly taken, the Lord is saying, I am doing a divine operation. So this is a divine moment for a divine operation. So remain a son of God. So that the, the prophetic GPS can locate your life in Jesus' name. The other thing is that we, we must know that our remembrance is going to restore us. The remembrance of Jephthah. He had not even thought about it. There was no prophetic word, you know, to, to show that he's about to be remembered. But God just did it. Turn to your neighbor, tell your neighbor, utastukia tu. Hallelujah. Lakini muambie tuko sawa. Hata kama tutafungua mdomo kidogo, lakini dani yetu tuko na conviction ni majira. Haya. Hallelujah. So the other thing is that um, our, our remembrance and our restoration and our recovery is taking us to a higher level. You cannot remain on the same. Tell your neighbor, hallelujah. At when you were class eight, Nini, David Alienda class gani? Eh? David Alienda class gani? Ndi wa mwagiri wa mafuta kwa familia Jesse? Yesu aliengia class one gani? Ayi, kani na muongei? Ati mimi ni wa class eight. So what? I'm a class eight liver, but a son of God. God can give me language. Ah. So prepare yourself for a higher platform. Hey. Now I want to open your eyes. After this service, wherever you will appear, appear with that mentality of another level. <laughs> and you will see God. The other thing that is going to change is the name. They are beginning by saying, Jephthah, the son of a harot. The restoration and the remembrance is coming, our reader. Hallelujah. 
Kwani kuna nianga ni nasema mwambia unaikuti unajua ukuti ndio hizi nikiliza vizuri nikikiliza vizuri inatingizwa ndio nini Nimwambia hata makaiko yako ina hata waru acha tayari kwa nafikiwe Unasikia a change of name is coming from a single mother to a married woman I don't know who I'm prophesying to maybe that is my word hallelujah mama wa madani ya grocery mpaka ume change direction Unaangalia kama mama wa nyanya anakuona unapita shoo kama mshale no change of name na mimi mnacheka it is the truth hallelujah kumeongea na mwalimu wa kongoje mpaka you have no story to tell eh yet you are a son of god mpaka unajihurumia mungu nitaongea hii mpaka tal kuongea uongo umemwambia mwalimu next week week imepita two weeks third week i came to say god is posting for a remembrance Our names must reflect the glory of the son of God. So new name. The other thing is that there's going to be a new song. God will give you a new song. When God visited Mary, she came up with a new song. When God visited Hannah, she came up with a new song. Turn to your neighbor, tell your neighbor, prepare the tune of your song. Hallelujah. So that by the time we gather here after seven days, my God, we are finishing January as a commission on a glorious note. Maybe this is my word. Hallelujah. We are finishing on a glorious note. Hallelujah. That is the lowest level. Mwambie jirani yako, mwangalie viatu na nini? Mwambie this is the lowest level we should be now from now. Kona masude. We should take we, let us go for the sign of suit. Tusie tusoke na huku chini, Kinyaga Road. Twende Beshara Street. Kwani iko nini? Eh, bwana sikio. By the way, tuvuke. Mwambie ngonya tuvuke. Na yuvuka from your mentality. Eh, hey, kukula madodo ugali pale tuvuke pande. Hata by the way si expensive at pande. Bwana asifiwe. I'm talking about prophetic things using physical language. Hallelujah. So change your mentality. Change the way you think. Think as a son of God. Know that God owns the the earth and the fullness therein. He has your healing, he has your promotion. So live connected and remain connected as a son to your father in Jesus name. So what is this going to uh, to do in our lives? What is our remembrance that is calling our restoration and ushering us into recovery going to do in our lives? Number one, you are going to uh, to witness for those who have been following us online in the morning very early in the morning, you must have heard me say these things. So I just felt let me say these things on this altar. So you are going to see oil change oil change magari kitembea sana mwambie my neighbor bwana asifiwe umeomba sana mpaka mate imeisha so there is going to be oil change Woo! umetembea mpaka kiatu imeinama there is going to be oil change not miss my brethren god is doing a new thing to encourage us now the, 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 the oil change is begin from inside so god has to do something tangible Hallelujah so that you you can encounter him as a person that is the oil change that means you are healing your encouragement unaisikia kutoka ndani si hapa physical peke yake it is something that is beginning from inside Hallelujah so there is going to be oil change magari nyenye imetembea sana hatujaona matunda tutaona matunda ile maombi tumeomba sana umefunga sana na bado haujaona dalili i came to say from today prepare your eyes to see dalili in Jesus name the other thing you are going to see is alignment Some of us are trying to serve here. You serve here tomorrow. Unasikia neema inaisha. Unafagia kanisa two days neema imeisha. Unaosha kitchen two days unasikia neema imeisha. Now from this hour Mungu anakupanda kama pando lake mahali pako. Hakutakuwa na kubahatisha. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor alignment. Na umwambie sasa ukiona mimi nimetoka hapa nimeanza kupanga viti kanisani jua nimekuwa aligned. Hallelujah. Hatubishani I have been aligned as a son to my father so that niweze kukimbia mbio yangu na nimalize vyema na nimalize na nguvu. Number three, You are going to see a lot of inspection. Mungu, ini kazi ya Mungu anafanya I've talk about the divine operation. So God is already doing a lot of oil change. God is already doing a lot of alignment. The other thing you are going to witness even in your personal life is an inspection. Unafanya kitu, unaangalia mkiwa na Mungu ukiona haiko sawa roho mtakatifu anakunenea yeye mwenyewe anakwambia in our kingdom we don't dress this way as a person hallelujah in our kingdom we don't go here in our kingdom we don't behave like this there is much much divine inspection right now so in the way you represent god and things are not godly utasikia roho mtakatifu anakunenea as an individual 
Number four, there is going to be a lot of assessment. An assessment will give you the recovery at the pace of God. The assessment will give you, kwa sababu, mungu anaangalia mioyo, anaona venye umefanya, anaona kama umemaliza viema, anaona kama ume, umefanya kadri na mapenzi yake, anaona kama umemgoja kwa ile wadrifu waneno lake, alafu anafanya assessment. Tell you, nipa saa hii, you cannot pretend. Mungu, God is assessing. Si umambie, God is assessing. Eh, it's not about shouting. Here at the kwa sauti le mule apana. God is assessing. So even in, the, in our season of remembrance, God is inspecting our lives and God is assessing. Because the Bible, all these things are coming from Him. Bwana asifiwe. So mwambie jira nika chonjo. Hallelujah. We go back to verse 12. Frank, we are through. We go back to verse 12. Mini memaliza. Tell your neighbor, that says the Lord my neighbor. Haya, bwana asifiwe. Simame ni juu basi. Hallelujah. Tusimame juu tumalize hii ibada leo. Mwambie my neighbor. That says the Lord. Mwangalie kwa macho. Tafuta a neighbor you have you don't know. Maybe huyo mnazoeana. Tafuta mtu ambaye haujui. You can walk around look for a neighbor who you are not familiar with or used to. Mwambie that says the Lord my neighbor. As a as a shepherd 